Aiden Fuji was born on November 17, 2006. His mother is Crystal Smith and his father is Jason Fuji. He has two brothers and two sisters. He was classmates with a girl named Tristan Bailey at Patriot Oaks Academy in St. John's, Florida. Tristan's passion was cheerleading, and she wanted to become a professional cheerleader. She lived in Durban Crossing in northwest St. John's County, Florida, with her father, Forrest Bailey, her mother, Stacy Bailey, her brother, Tegan, and her three sisters, Alexis, Sophia, and Brittany Bailey. On May 8, 2021, Aiden got Tristan's phone number from a friend and called her that night. He convinced her to leave her house to meet with him at around midnight. One of her sisters saw Tristan leave, but assumed she was going to meet a friend and would be back soon. The next morning, Tristan's mother woke up her siblings, but discovered that Tristan was not in the house, so she called the police. The community started searching for Tristan, and Aiden had joined them. During the search, he posted a Snapchat photo of himself in a police car with the text, Hey guys, has anybody seen Tristan lately? He also posted a video saying, We're having fun in a cop car. Tristan's body was found later that day in a forest during the search. The autopsy revealed 114 stab wounds on her body, and almost half of them were defensive wounds. CCTV footage showed Tristan and Aiden walking together right after she left the house. Footage later showed Aiden walking home alone without wearing shoes so that he did not leave footprints. The police arrested Aiden at his home and searched his house. They found knives, the pair of shoes Aiden wore on the day of the crime with blood on them, a t-shirt with blood on it, a piece of paper with blood on it, and wet blue denim jeans in a laundry basket. A security camera at Aiden's home captured Aiden's mother taking a pair of jeans from his bedroom into the adjacent bathroom, then scrubbing and washing the jeans. She was arrested for tampering with evidence and sentenced to 30 days in jail and five years of probation. The police also found blood in the bathroom sink. There were drawings of decapitated women in his room. Aiden's girlfriend told investigators that Aiden had been fantasizing about killing someone by stabbing them for quite a while. Aiden said he wanted to find a random person while walking at night, take them into the woods, and stab them to death. Aiden's girlfriend said he often carried a knife with him and talked about killing people and even her. He would come up from behind her and pretend to slit her throat, but she and other friends said they never took it seriously. She also said he claimed to hear voices in his head when he was angry. He did tell the court he was on antidepressants. Aiden had a fascination with knives, carried one with him, and showed them off. He even named them Picker and Poker. A buck knife with a missing tip was found in the pond near Tristan's body and matched a fragment lodged in her scalp. The knife was identified as Aiden's. While in jail, Aiden was involved in fights, contraband, bullying inmates out of their commissary items, threatening them and being combative with guards and making threats against them. He had to be pepper sprayed and restrained more than once. Aiden said that he was real because he stabbed a girl face to face, unlike others who resorted to shooting someone. Tristan was just 13 years old when she died, and Aiden was 14 years old. Aiden was charged as an adult with first degree murder, but due to being a juvenile, he is not eligible for the death penalty. Aiden pled guilty to first degree murder. The judge sentenced Aiden to life in prison and said that Tristan suffered a painful, horrifying death from someone that she trusted. The crime had no motive and was heinous, atrocious, and cruel. This was not done out of greed. It was not done in retaliation or retribution or revenge. It was not a crime of passion. It was not a crime that was committed because he felt rejected by her. It was not done in a fit of uncontrollable anger. There was no reason. There was no purpose. It was done for no other reason than to satisfy his internal desire to feel what it was like to kill someone. That's the end of the video. If you like the video, then remember to like and subscribe. It only takes two seconds and would really help me out. Feel free to check out the other videos on my channel.